And welcome to Local News 8 at 10. I'm Eric Boone. In our top story tonight, we have new information on the man accused of killing his wife and kidnapping their 10-month-old son. Our own Seth Ratliff has been following this story, and he is in studio with the latest. Seth. That's right, Eric. Jeremy Albert Best has been apprehended east of Idaho Falls, and authorities discovered the infant Zeke Best dead at the scene. Around 9.15 a.m. this morning, Bonneville County Dispatch received a call from individuals who were hunting on Kepps Crossing Road near Dan Creek Road, stating that they located a man in a sleeping bag on the side of the road. Bonneville County Sheriff's deputies identified that man as Jeremy Albert Best. Deputies also located his vehicle near the area where Best was located, as well as Zeke Best, deceased at the scene. The family of Callie Randall, Zeke's mother and the first victim in this case, has released this statement saying, quote, We thank all of you for walking with us during this time. Our Zeke is now at rest with his loving mama and unborn sibling. The pain we feel is unimaginable, and we thank everyone for their support. You will never know how you have lifted our family up during this time. Now, I spoke with Med Meg Fisher, Callie Randall's cousin, yesterday. She says Zeke was a joy and a happy little boy. We were able to spend some time in Wisconsin as a family at the end of September, and it was just an absolute joy um, for all of us to get a chance to hold and kiss. Um, and we all love him so much. As this is an ongoing investigation, the family has also asked for privacy as they, quote, take time to process and grieve, end quote. As for the suspect, Jeremy Best, he has been transported to the Bonneville County Jail and booked for the outstanding Teton, Teton County warrant. Best will remain incarcerated until the arraignment before the court. As we said, this investigation is ongoing and we will, we will provide more information as it becomes available. Reporting in the studio, I'm Seth Ratliff.